Did you see the driver of this SUV you're referring to? Yeah, you're standing right there. Yep. Ooh, no comeback. No comeback, Daryl. And how many people did Ooh. you see in the vehicle? How interesting. <laughs> Daryl said nothing. <laughs> what the? Daryl knows his place. When I tell y'all, Daryl is a submissive, honey. Daryl is a submissive. You're Good afternoon, Mr. Viscano. Uh, what do you do for a living currently? I'm a hairdresser. No judgment whatsoever on this question. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Yes, I have. And how many times? Seven. Well, Daryl's like, shit, <laughs> this guy looks dangerous. <laughs> no, 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 see how he started? <laughs> I don't mean no offense by this. <laughs> Please don't murder me now. Have you by any chance, you know, you know, no judgment, okay, been convicted of a crime? Were any of those crimes you jumping over a counter or anything to get a asshole on the other side? Were any of those? Daryl, that's right. You play it safe. You play it safe. This man is like, yeah, I might go back to jail again. Hopefully, maybe we'll see each other in there. That's why Daryl playing it safe. He's like, shit, seven times. This, this He's probably going back at some point. He might end up where I'm at. And my ass is grass. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be nice. Well, I mean, not for this guy who'd have to go to jail to make that happen. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying. The perks are the perks. <laughs> These are the perks. Do you recall the... <laughs> The night of November 21st, 2021, pretty well. I know it's been a minute, but. Best as I can, yeah. Uh, what were you doing that evening, if you recall? The uh, Christmas parade. You talking nice to him, uh, Were you marching in the parade? Or? No, I was watching it. Uh, who were you there with? Family, friends? My wife and my daughter. Uh, do you recall where you were uh, positioned to watch the parade? <laughs> uh, I was standing in front of the <laughs> Corey Insurance on Main Street. Mm. Is that part of Main Street close to like a, a, a side street? Uh, if, you, if you recall, <laughs> not too far from Maple. I'm doing for you. Do you recall the side streets uh, being barricaded during the parade? I don't remember. And what did you see that day, if you recall? I saw a red SUV plow over a bunch of people. Mm hmm. That was Daryl. Daryl being nice, ain't he? You being super nice. Did you see the driver of this SUV you're referring to? Yeah, you're standing right there. Yep. Ooh, damn. No comeback. No comeback, Daryl? And how many people did Ooh. you see in the vehicle? Oh, 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 how interesting. Daryl said nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? Daryl knows his place. When I tell y'all, Daryl is a submissive, honey. Daryl is a submissive. Okay? Daryl is very much submissive. He know who to talk fucking shit to and who not to talk shit to. He heard the tone of this man's voice when he said that. Yeah, you sitting right there. Daryl was like, uh, choose your battles. So, moving on. <laughs> Daryl, no. His ass gonna be grass if this man's been in jail. Even if this man don't go back to jail. He damn sure know some people in that motherfucker. <laughs> You don't go in seven times looking like he do and not have some friends, okay? He got some friends in there. Daryl know when to shut the fuck up, okay? Daryl know. You're sitting right there. I just, That would have been definitely, if, if a girl had said that, oh, Daryl would have been right on top of that. Well, yeah, I like the smirky something you said. Like he would say something snarky, uh-huh. Or he would say, that's not what I asked you. He would say something snippy, a snarky, a sassy, if you will. Because <laughs> Daryl is a sassafras, okay? He's a sassafras, a sassafrassy ass, okay? That's what he would have done. Uh-huh, who is me? Who is you? Who is this you? But he ain't say a motherfucking thing. And I know this guy noticed that. And he's like, oh, you ain't gonna say nothing back. Oh, so you so you do know your place. You so submissive, Daryl. Daryl is so submissive, honey. Too to to it up. Uh, that means he's gonna take very little training from Bubba. All Bubba has to do is just stay in there and tell him what he want him to do. Daryl gonna do it because Daryl know his place. Daryl understands. He realizes who he talking to. Let's see what he say next. Just one the driver. So do you recall? Mm hmm. You better say it nice. Don't put uh, no bass in your voice. Sliding down a law enforcement vehicle that evening. <laughs> yeah, I do. And do you recall what you told the officer that evening? Uh, not very well. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to uh, see if anything. Uh, brings back some recollection. Mm-hmm. Say it nice. Say it nice, Daryl. First, do you recall the name of the officer you uh, flagged down that evening? Officer Moss. Do you recall telling Officer Moss that you observed 
three or four people in the SUV as it passed you? I don't remember that. Mm. Oh, Daryl, did that not go as planned? <laughs> oh, it's fun to lie to Daryl. To your recollection, the SUV that you saw, mm -hmm. did it have tinted windows? I don't remember. Like, I don't remember. Come over here and see if I can remember. Get closer to me. Maybe I'll remember better. <laughs> Just at arms And do you remember like what the description good. was that evening that you gave it to, uh, gave to law enforcement? Why are you stuttering, Daryl? It was a red SUV. The description of the driver, do you remember that? Yeah, I know he was a black male. Is that all you recall about your description? That's all I remember. It was a black male with an unfortunate hairdo. <laughs> I smelled a scent as it drove by. I couldn't help but uh, noticed that it was coming from inside the vehicle since he had his window down. It was like mold, cheese, and ass. It was a mixture of mold, cheese, and ass. So do what you will with that, okay? Moldy ass cheese. That's what it was. That's what the inside of Daryl's car smells like. <laughs> After seeing this vehicle, what did you do? Hopeless. It's hopeless. Um, you left. I got my family out of there. And where did you go? To mind my business. The car. Do you recall where your vehicle was parked? Do, I believe it's uh, do, 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 do. buildings. It's on Maple Street. Yeah. And did you see the vehicle stop Monica. on Maple Street? Which vehicle? Uh, the SUV that you claim you saw. Oh, no, I didn't see it stop. It kept going through the parade. And speaking with, uh, is it Detective Moss? Well, speaking with law enforcement that evening, do you recall advising law enforcement that you observed three black subjects running from the vehicle? No, I don't remember that. If it pleases the court, I would like to show the... Why you look so nervous? Why you look so nervous, y'all? Daryl, be confident in your decision. <laughs> I mean, he may end up in your cell one day. I mean, but, you know, do the right thing. This is this is you trying to save your life. You can't be working on fear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look at how he fidgeting. Like, he's, like, fumbling with his stuff. He don't even want to look at it. He don't even want to look at it. Like, can I, um, <clears throat> Your Honor, can I, sh can I, um... If it's okay with you, can I uh, can I show you this paper? Or, you know, please help. He's staring at me, and I'm terrified. <laughs> you scared, Daryl? Don't be scared. You can't be scared, okay? I believe it's with. Uh, I don't think he wrote it himself. The summary written by another person. By uh, I don't know if it's Officer Moss or Detective Moss. I'm not sure if what his rank is. It don't matter though. You know that. Why are you playing coy right now? Your question is going to deny the request that you show the exhibit or the paperwork to the witness. Do you recall making the statements? to Detective Moss yeah. that you observed one, one like, where it says one was described like as running button. southbound on Maple Torres College Avenue. Do you recall that? No, I don't. Do you recall stating that the other two were described as running in a westerly direction from the rear of 338 Maple Street? No. Do you recall stating that one black subject was described as tall, wearing a blue top and blue and black pants, while the other subjects were described as two short black males wearing sweatpants? Barely, a little bit of that. So which of these subjects do you minimally recall wearing those uh, those items that evening? No, you asked me if I remember people running, and I said no. I remember describing those people to him. I remember. So where did you observe the, those? Uh, Standing by the vehicle where I found the vehicle where I spotted it. Daryl, don't be scared. Don't be scared. I mean, be a little bit scared. He does look scary. I don't blame you. But you know what? I mean, you are a grown man who likes to assault women. Surely you must be brave, right? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's right. That's what cowards do. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I got it mixed up. Sorry. I got it confused. I forgot what happens. I forgot what that meant. That's, that's right. You too scared to fight dudes. So you only fight women. Got it. So if there were no women around, I'm sure the children would be in danger because <laughs> clearly that's where you're going next. <laughs> oh, Daryl, why are you looking so intimidated? Never let them see you sweat, baby. You can't let him see you look all scared like this. He can see it. He can smell it on you. He literally, I bet he can smell it from over there. He's like, oh, you scared, is you? <laughs> oh, a little bit. You're scared. Just so we have clarity, describe uh, mm -hmm. describe the subjects you saw that evening standing by the vehicle. I don't remember that, dude. Like, I ain't got to tell you, you shit. You were so it brought back a little bit, but I, I can't tell you. That's, that was too long ago. Come on, Daryl. Get to the point part. You get this sort of part that's the point. Try that part. And how did you come <laughs> upon the, the vehicle at the, the address of 338 Maple Street that evening? Mm -hmm. I was walking my family back to the car. And what about to safety. Uh -huh. so I was keeping an eye out and I spotted it. Because if you had hit his kids, this would have ended different. Do you recall <laughs> stating that you saw the SUV reverse into a driveway? You done dragged no. your little ass out of that playhouse, okay? By your ankles. By do your you ankles. Do you recall why that would be reported? No. When I found it, it was parked already. Come on, Daryl. You got this. I believe in you. Do you recall when you initially had the, uh, the interaction with uh, Detective Moss? Mm -hmm. Do you recall leading him to where the vehicle was ultimately found? Yeah. I like how he looks at Daryl. Like, he, do not, he does not have issues with eye contact. He's like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I took him over there. Uh-huh. 
What of it, bro? Oh, did you say something? Oh, thought you said something. Smart. That's very smart of you to know that you ain't say shit. They told me you was dumb. I guess you ain't that dumb. Do you recall yelling at subjects standing outside of a building where or, or near where the vehicle was? Dang. Matt Cannon. I remember asking them. I don't remember yelling at them. Come on, Daryl. All you need to do is have a point. That's all. That's the only mission here. Just one. Just one. Do you recall why the report says that you advised De Detective Moss that there are three black subjects, specifically black subjects, running from the vehicle? No, I don't remember. And what, Daryl? Ain't you going? Ain't you going to like be like? Are you sure? Ain't you? Ain't you going to do that? Ain't you going to be like? So you don't recall that? Ain't you going to do that? No, you ain't going to press him. No. Oh. <laughs> Interesting, Daryl, where's your bravery at? <laughs> you know, the bravery that you had when the girls were on the stand. Where's that bravery? All you need is that bravery. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, you was in the car. Daryl didn't say shit. Daryl shut right the fuck up. Daryl understood what was happening. Were you yourself injured in this incident, David? No. Do you recall stating that, well, let me back up for a minute. Jesus. Did you speak with another detective that evening, if you recall? Yes, I did. That's all you came up uh, with, Daryl? Do you recall if that was uh, Detective Coates? I don't remember his name. So it'd be fair to say that you spoke with two different law enforcement officers that evening. I love the eye contact. Do you recall <laughs> in your in your interview with... I can feel Daryl's fear. I feel his fear and I like it. I like it. I appreciate it. I, you know, I'm comforted by it. With Detective Coates. <laughs> what else, Daryl? In reference to the vehicle that you saw that evening. Mm -hmm. Do you recall telling Detective Coates mm -hmm. that it appeared there were three or four people in the Ford Escape as it passed you? Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember. Oh, Daryl, come on. Do you recall? Hey, Daryl, I, I just got a quick question. <laughs> How many times are you going to ask him the exact same fucking question? <laughs> are you waiting for him to throw a water bottle at you or what? <laughs> Like, maybe that's what Daryl's hoping. He's like, maybe I get a mistrial if he throw a water bottle at my head. I'll just keep repeating the same question and act like I don't realize I'm doing it. <laughs> in your interview with Detective Coates that evening, mm -hmm. stating that you could not provide any description of the occupants other than that they appeared to be African-American. Yeah, I remember saying that. So it'd be fair to say that you observed African-Americans in this vehicle that you saw, correct? The reason why I came up with three or four people was because when I was walking by and I saw the car, there was... Two or three black males standing by the vehicle. There was mm -hmm. four, three, at least three or four more on the porch. So I figured they were by the vehicle. They must have been the ones trying to hide the vehicle because they were standing in front of it or real close to it. In your opinion, did it look like they were nervous or attempting to hide? Well, everybody was running past them and running really, or walking really fast, and they were just standing around there. They were the only ones not doing much. So yeah, they stood out. There you go. Great answer. Completely now, this explains is, everything. The the question actually was in reference to when you. Uh, spoke with Detective Coates that evening in, uh -huh. in, his, in reference to seeing the vehicle in the parade as it passed you. Do you recall at that point, while at the parade that evening, do you recall stating to Detective Coates that it appeared that there were three or four people in the Ford Escape as it passed you during the parade that evening? No, I don't remember that. No, Daryl, you made that part up. You decided that that was the same statement. Like he said that he saw the car ride by and he also said that he saw the car and these people were standing all by it and then you decided that he saw the people in the car you decided to add that, that to make the all part of the same fucking statement and it's not and so now you sound stupid and you've risked your life because this man might end up in jail with you one day <laughs> let's cross our fingers for daryl that this guy is not a repeat offender <laughs> because if he is daryl might end up having to see him again and I know what I know is that Daryl is thinking about that as well. That's why he's treading fucking lightly and keeping his tone nice and sweet. Notice how he ain't raising his fucking voice or saying anything slick at all. Even though this guy's saying slick shit to him, he ain't saying nothing slick back. He know. Daryl know when to do. Daryl know when to shut the fuck up. I'm going to tell you what I've noticed. Daryl knows exactly when to shut the fuck up. He know. Any reason why the uh, detective coach would report that that's what look, that, look, that that's what you stated to him? Look how like nice I said he before, looking. I saw three, three, two or three people by the vehicle, so I assumed <laughs> they were they were with the vehicle. So they must have been in the vehicle during the parade. I saw the driver going by because he hit somebody right in front of us. I hope he says, if you ask me the same question again, I'm gonna get locked up on purpose just so I can see you ass again. <laughs> I'm um, gonna rob the store on the corner Do you for, recall for two dollars just so I can see you again. Interview with uh, Detective Coates that evening, <laughs> stating that the three individuals, and, and I'm referring to who you saw next to the vehicle, so clarification. The three individuals see how polite he is? who were standing in a line, shoulder to 
shoulder to shoulder to shoulder as African American males. Yeah. So it's fair to say that's what you observed that evening. I saw these two of them. And look, at, they were standing in front of it. There you go. Answer. It's answered. Now move the fuck on before he whoop your ass. Isn't he being soft and submissive? Any reason why the two detectives that you spoke with that night both reported that you stated you saw three black subjects running from the vehicle? No. Oh, uh oh. Watch your tone. Watch your tone, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl, Daryl, you getting besides the fucking self? Well, I bet you this though. I bet you what he don't do. I bet you in those moments, if you hit like like what he just did, you notice he ain't looking up though. He ain't looking at him. 